Welcome back tubers. So, bit of an update video on how my grid tire inverter has been running over the last year. Pretty much had it in for a year now and it's been, to be honest, really, really good. 2000 watt model, grid tire inverter with limiter, internal limiter and it's also got the external limiter. I'm using the external limiter which is wired under the ground and back through to the main house. This is out in the garage, it's been running really well over the last year. I've had no issues with it, with it at all. It gets turned on at night time and then turned off each day. It's been running for, what, 300 and something days now. No issues at all, all the fans sound really good. There's, I can't really fault it, it's doing exactly the same job as it has done since day one and it's been running really well. Now, obviously I don't push it. I Most of the time it's sitting around 1300 watts for example. The limit is around 1960 or 20 or whatever it is. So, to be honest, it's been running fine. It's been running fantastically. And yet, to be honest, if you're thinking about buying one of these, go ahead. It, there's no issues with them at all, or at least with my one that I've got. Um, I've got 80 volts of battery going in onto this one. The voltage range on this one, or this unit itself, I think is 45 volts to 90 volts or somewhere around there. So I've got a, a voltage that's kind of in the middle of all that. It's been running really well, no issues at all. I don't use the screen much at all. It's pretty much just turns on and turns off. I have other monitoring that I'm using for it to, to monitor things. But the um, the unit itself, really well. Would I recommend it to anyone? Absolutely. Um, they normally do this in the 1000 watt model. There's a 2000 watt model, which is this one here. I've just heard that they're releasing a 5000 watt model from the top of my head. A few weeks ago or a month ago I heard that. Um, it's obviously a much bigger and buttier unit. In fact, I don't know why they're doing it because you might as well just buy a hybrid inverter for that type of money or for that type of thing. So either way, this unit here, fantastic. Any of you thinking about buying one, you yeah, go ahead. There's no issues with this or with this unit at all that I can really see. And um, the good thing about it though is that with it connected to batteries, with it being turned on each day, it's been flawless. So hope that's a bit of an update for you guys that have maybe thinking about one of these units. Um, either buy the 2000 watt model or the 1000. I'd recommend spend a little bit more and get the 2000 watt model like this one. The reason for that is that that way you're not lim you're not maxing out the 1000 watt for example. At least with the 2000 watt model it's only sitting at 50 or 60% most of the time. So hope that helps you guys. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.